people fear what they don't understand and they never are gonna understand what I got going on. That's okay. Because the people that do understand is, going, is on a wave. Um, you know, the sky's the limit on it. So, like my whole my whole mentality on life is just, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. You know, we wasn't we wasn't put in this life to, to take orders from other people. You know, we was all we all men and we all we all um, got our own visions and our own way we wanna see things out. Holly Stein can be an overload to one's senses. From his height and length to the tattoos in the hair, it can be a lot to take in. But beneath the surface is a man who's as smooth and as mellow as they come. A lover of art, music, and fashion, here's a guy who's both interesting and complex as he's gone from mentee to mentor within a blink of an eye. He's Trill, not just in middle name, but in life philosophy, both true and real. And with the departure of DeMarcus Boogie Cousins in New Orleans, life for Willie Colley Stein just got really real. You know, coming in as, as, he, as you know, one of the youngest on the team, and then in a year span, like everything changes. It was cool because I'm young, but I'm not that, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm about to be 24. All these other dudes is like 19, 20. I'm young in basketball, but not in life. Those 19 and 20 year olds are rookie Sky Labissiere from Kentucky and Giorgio's Papagiannis of Greece. Along with Willie, they are the youthful front court trio chosen by general manager Vlade Divac to lead the next wave in Sacktown. Scal and Papa, because they both play my position. So it's like one plays a five, one plays a four. I play the four and the five. So like Scal challenges me at the four and Papa challenges me at the five. So it's good because I get both the best worlds. But, you know, me, you know, kind of mentoring them. It's more, more or less just showing, telling them my tricks that I learned in a year. Uh, on retrospect, I, I've gotten the same amount of playing time as them. You know, my rookie year, I ain't play that much until the end. Um, this year, I ain't play that much until the end. So, like, they not far behind me. The thought of Willie emerging as a leader might shock some, as the critics worried about his issues dealing with focus and preparation leading into the 2016 NBA draft. But to his teammates, once you get past those outside perceptions, you find someone learning how to be a leader of men. You really don't know what you're going to get from him. You see, I mean, he's a big guy. I mean, uh, you don't know, uh, I mean, coming from Kentucky, a lot, a lot of different uh, circumstances. You never, you never know what, what you're going to get from that. And uh, I think that uh, when you finally, like, really understand him and listen to him and just talk to him, I think that, I mean, uh, he, he definitely uh, has a different vibe to it. And uh, he's always, like I said, when, when you get to know him, he opens up and uh, really just, say hey, just a down-to-earth guy and really just enjoys uh, what he does. I think the biggest thing with young guys especially nowadays they 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 want to be respected and they want you to you know speak to them as men uh, rather than talking down to them even if you might have a few more years in the league than them so with Willie that was my approach all the time just talking to him uh, man to man and telling him things that I see in his game that he can improve on things that he does well and things that you know from game to game that we we need to make sure he uh he does good on Sacramento now faces another rebuild as Divac has put the future of the franchise in the hands of the youngsters, which includes newcomer Buddy Heald, along with Scal and Willie. What does that mean for the second year center? A summer of hard work and bonding with teammates. We're just building a, 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 a different culture, a, a, you know, like a family first culture. Um, you know, trying to carry this into the, to the summertime where it's going to be, you know, probably a lot of, of us younger dudes here um, early, just, you know, so. Those those four or five core dudes that are that are that are young that are going to get you know big opportunities next year. Um, this is a big summer for us, uh, especially me. Uh, you know, going to your third year and, and at the end of your second year, starting to figure out you know that you got some shit in your game that you can that you can start playing with. Um, you know, the summer is just going to be really fun for me, uh, just perfecting my craft and um, you know just just. Making, it, making sure this team is together and ready to, to, to try to make a playoff race next year. 